Chub Chub. It is time for a new adventure. I seek your help. A great quest lay before you. All you need to do is reach out and take it. You will be tested in ways you cannot imagine. But there is still time. There is still hope. Tell no one of our meeting and make for the desert at dawn. I will be waiting. Chub chub. Chub chub. Chub chub. Chub chub. It worked. I am surprised. Now that you're here, I can tell you why I called you. Here are my plans. The palace has one entrance in the courtyard. We need to get past the guards and sneak in through the small passage west of the sleeping quarters and then make our way down the corridor to a large table. The guards rotate in shifts every hour and by the time that they've discovered us we can make our escape. They won't know what hit them. Threes! This one goes to Hassan. Move! The punishment for treason is exile. Your accomplice abandoned you, and my guards found a vial of poison in their hat. We've been tracking this mystery figure for some time now. Never a word about you, though. And our spies see all. And you say that this figure came to you in a dream? My judgment will be swift. You will serve out your sentence unless you do something for Hassan in return. The ruler of the Bebedine has been plotting much the same as you and your mysterious friend. Bring me the head of al Shabim, and I will lift your sentence. Oh. And I will be keeping your mother as prisoner until you return. Mother! She will serve me well indeed. What a beauty. Please, don't do this. Be gone, wizard. The sea is a long way south, and the wolves will smell your pale skin cooking like a kebab in the desert sun. Struggle all you want, Leela. The judgment is made. Hassan! Hassan! <sighs> this one's still alive. Bring him back to the camp. Rest, Effendi. We will talk when you are able. Huh? What? Where am I? You are safe now. When we found you, you were collapsed and surrounded by wolves. This is the last great settlement of the Bebedin, and I am al uh, uh, Thank you. Uh, how can I ever repay you? Nonsense, nonsense. We will arrange some means for you to make your return. You clearly don't belong out here. What exactly made you wander the desert without food or water? I was set up. A faceless, dark wizard. They used me as a distraction or something. Hassan sentenced me to exile. Exile? And I suppose he asked for my head in return. I... Uh, yes, but I wasn't going Easy. to... Easy. It is not the first time. We live freely in the desert, and he despises us. 
As Son has plotted against me and my people for years. I take no offense. Rest. We shall make plans for your return in the morning. You look like you're feeling better. Get your eyes adjusted. You've been resting for three days. Yes, I feel much better. What did you give me? You were nursed back to health on the milk of the camel tit. Oh no, I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> I need to get back. Patience. We won't be traveling to the city by foot. It is time you learn to ride a camel. Stories long ago have told of a white traveler. I never thought I'd live to see the day. <laughs> you think I'm the first cracker to get lost in the desert? <laughs> Chub-chub, there is something I must tell you. We cannot go any further without you knowing. Go on. When we were changing your robes, we found something very odd about you. We found... a mark. What kind of mark? One that the prophecies are about. Turn around and see for yourself. Now pull down your robe and show Shabim your ass. What? Do it! No. No, 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 no. This isn't real. I'm not really here. I'm at home in bed just having a bad dream. The djinn visited you. It brought you out here. Where its power is far greater and controlling you is much easier. Whatever you saw was just a hologram and not its final form. You and I must go and find a djinn, Chub-Chub. A djinn? A genie. We must find its resting place, rub its lamp, and it will give us three wishes in return. One wish is that the curse be lifted, obviously, but the other two are not yet clear to me. Oh, I can think of a few. Prophecy told of a party of three and one of green. And we are only two. Surely there is someone in al who you know of that can help. No, I haven't met anyone from the desert before. Green? It's full of NPCs that I've never exchanged but a few words with. Smithers, armorers, merchants. I can't think of a single... Fuck. Every time someone comes around, it's just a fucking party now, isn't it? Ice kings, evil genies. <sighs> Can't just get on the glider and take a nice peaceful afternoon flight, can we? <sighs> no, no, pilot. We won't be flying. You must journey with us down into the Jin's lair. I believe there is an entrance to the north under the mines. The spirit drew him north of the city, and that is where we shall look. This better pay one big fucking bag of GP for the old green bastard. We can make you rich beyond your wildest dreams. You won't even have to fly the glider anymore. Gee, I don't know. This glider's all I've got. I, my glider, my shed, kitties. He has three wishes. One to lift the curse, one to make you rich beyond your wildest dreams, and the other is yet to be discovered. All right, already. Gentlemen, we have our hunting party. Let's go end this before it devours our homeland with black magic. Don't say the fucking no pilot never did anything for you, cocksuckers. When are we leaving? And where's my fucking party at? The door can only be opened by bearing your ass mark, Chub Chub. When you're ready, show the djinn we mean business. You ready? Let's open it. Let's go! Fire blast! 
you gotta rope the lamp. Could it be the earthly trio has arrived? I have waited oh so long for this. Hmm. I was dying of boredom down here and called you all here for my amusement in your imminent death. Now you all stand before a djinn and are suddenly mute. Mark Bearer, you have been chosen, you have arrived, and now you have three wishes. I will grant you two now, but I am unlike any other djinn. You must prove yourself in battle before I grant you a third. Now, Make your wishes known before I tire of your stench. I... I wish to make the gnome pilot rich beyond his wildest dreams. Yes, of course, greed. Done. Next. Rid me of your curse. You have ruined my life and the lives of so many others. That's a tough one. But I'm afraid I must oblige. Usually people run off before the second wish. <laughs> you are truly fools. Now we must battle for wish number three. Show me what it's like to bleed. yourselves. So get on with it. Wish number three. What shall it be, pale wizard? I want Al Shabim's head. What? No. Not his real head. Just a recreation. Hassan asked for it and, well, we can give it to him. You can live out your days flourishing and unbothered and I can return home to Drainer with my mother. It makes the most sense to ask for peace. We haven't had any for some time now, and the head would make everything go away. You are a good friend, Effendi. Are you sure? In all my years, I've never been asked this one before. Yes! That is my third wish! Wait, what is this? Ah! Oh no, that makes three! No! We did it. The next time you boys need a personal favor, you can go fuck right off. Did you see him go back down into the lamp? They'll be writing stories of us for generations. Oh my fuck, boys. Chub Chub, you have a home in Nomad Lands whenever you want it. Good luck with Hassan. Go. Get your mother back. Restore the balance to the desert peoples. I will make my escape across the dunes. Well, I guess this is goodbye, friends. Thank you, Al Shabim. I may take you up on that someday. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, Al Shabim. Hassan, I have what you asked for. One head that used to belong to Al Shabim. Fantastic. Oh, I am relieved. I've held up my end of the bargain. I am a man of my word, and you are a free man. I will never ask for another thing as long as you live. Please, my sincerest apologies. Yes, yes, uh, no hard feelings. The desert was actually mm, pretty great. Your mother is safe. She was not harmed, I assure you. Mom! Well, we best be on our way. Oh, and Chub Chub.
Thank you, friend. We'll see you around, Hassan. Well, I do believe it's time we finally went home. Next stop, good old Drainer. <laughs>